Okay, picture this. A new mythical land has appeared on the horizon. Players are surging to the new continent to seek epic adventure and vanquish terrifying bosses. And you know what the summer dummy is doing? Make a freaking spreadsheet. Oh well, at least I brought back some interesting news from my own little adventure. But let's start from the beginning. So the new Land of Morning Light introduced a new cooking and alchemy tool and you can craft them but only in two designated workshops in the new region. They take polished stone, standardized timber square, iron ingots and fire horns. Now what's really cool about the new utensils is that they have 3k durability, that's freaking massive. They also give 1 second cook time reduction and they can be repaired. You need a repair kit and you can get that by exchanging a full durability tool with certain NPCs. For these ones you have to exchange them at NPCs in the new region. Now to craft these utensils, you wanna first grab a workshop. I've gone for the one in Moodle Village, that's number 2. And then you also want to hire a worker, I've just gone with a blue worker because why not? And also it doesn't hurt to grab some additional storage so you can really mass produce these utensils. And what I love about the new region is that every node and every house seems to cost only one CP. So I've gotten this workshop, this storage and this lodging all for 3 CP. Once you get the workshop you want to put all of the materials in your storage and then you can just start the process. Now, what makes these tools so intriguing is that they can potentially fill a niche where current utensils fall short. When it comes to tools that are repairable and give cook time reduction, we really only have two options. We can either go for advanced utensils, which are mass craftable but only have 900 durability, or we can go for supremes, which have insane durability but they're a pain to get because they're locked behind item exchanges. So are they gonna replace the existing tools? Well, that really depends on how expensive they're gonna be to craft. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet I was talking about in the beginning. Here I've calculated the cost to get a morning light, advanced and supreme utensil. I've also worked out the cost per durability, so the cost effectiveness marked in green. If you wanna know the details of the calculation, I'll put them on screen. But now it's easy to see that the morning light utensils are less cost effective than both the advanced and supreme utensil. Initially my argument in favor of morning light utensils was that I could mass produce them and simply AFK cook any recipe without worrying about durability. But as it turns out, the AFK time on most recipes is limited by your weight rather than your durability. For context, the morning light utensils last for about an hour, but you will run out of weight way before that on most recipes. And only a few recipes like red sauce, vinegar and so on let you go AFK for longer periods of time, in which case Supremes will still give you the highest AFK time. For all other recipes you might as well use an advanced utensil because they are cost effective. So in conclusion I'd say that the usefulness of the new utensil is gonna depend on what you cook. If you're doing all kinds of recipes and only sometimes do recipes that can be AFK cooked, you're gonna be better off with advanced and the occasional supreme utensil. But if you're spamming the ever-living hell out of recipes like red sauce or vinegar, the morning light utensils are gonna be huge. They basically let you turn cooking into an AFK life skill. Now, for alchemy a few things are different. First of all, advanced and morning light tools have similar cost per durability, but one will let you go AFK for over 3 times longer. And that's a great thing for alchemy, because all the basic recipes like reagents, oils and bloods are super AFK friendly. Like if you wanna spam clown's blood to guru, now is your chance. Also, another thing worth mentioning is that making advanced alchemy tools tends to be quite expensive because you need to rent a tier 4 workshop. So right now I'm spending 5 CP on a workshop in Doofenkroon and another 5 for storage. And I fully intend to move my alchemy tool production to Moodle Village and free up 8 CP in the process. Alright, so new utensils, yay or nay? Well, I think for cooking they have their use and they are a welcome addition to the ones we already have. And for alchemy, let's just say the morning light tool is the new go-to option when I'm doing alchemy. In any case, I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in a future video. Take care!